Hey guys, Sarah from Marin's Outdoor, and today I'm at a place that's very different from most of my videos, and that's because I'm actually at the beach. This is gonna be my first ever saltwater fishing video. As you can see, on this side of me, I have the ocean. It might be kind of hard to tell, but, and then on the other side of me, I have like a saltwater lake that goes into the ocean. And I fished at saltwater lake last night, and I just caught some small pinfish. Didn't really catch anything big, but my plan for today was to come back to the lake catch some small pinfish, and then maybe use those pinfish as bait to try and catch bigger fish. But unfortunately, at the little bridge I was fishing at yesterday in that lake, there were some people um, already there. And actually, But luckily, those people said they are gonna leave in 30 minutes, so I think I'm gonna go try that spot um, after I try this little inlet right here. So it seems pretty shallow behind me here. It's just kinda like this inlet where the water comes from the lake into the ocean. I really don't know if it's gonna be good, but I'm just gonna try out some stuff and see what happens. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick to my original plan of trying to catch some pinfish first to use as bait. So I've got this little uh, fish bites, easy shrimp stuff, and it's what I caught this little pinfish on last night. And I, mean, I was just using a tiny little piece like this, and they were biting it like crazy, so. I don't know if they're out here, but I'm gonna try and catch some. All right, well, I've walked all the way back to the bridge now, and thankfully the people have left. So this is where I wanted to fish today. And now this is where I'm gonna fish. Oh, I can already see some fish. I think there's just a huge school of mullet, but I caught a bunch of little pinfish right here yesterday. So I think I can definitely catch some more and then use those as bait. Just to give you all a better idea of where I am, there is that big like brackish water lake. That's only part of it but there's just this little cove to the side of it. And I think there's a bunch of fish back up in here, so. There we go, finally got one. They've been, oh my gosh, and he came off. They've been biting it like crazy over here. They just don't get hooked. Finally. Got one. Stay on here. All right, y'all, I've gotten a ton of bites on this little, these fish bites um, from these little pinfish and they keep coming off. But I finally got one. This one might be a little bit big for bait, but since this is the only one I've caught, I think I'm just gonna put them on a bigger hook and, oh, well, I guess not. I'm gonna have to catch another one. Finally, got another one. Do not come off fish. They put up a fight on this little uh, ultralight rod. Well, there we go. I mean, now it's kind of too late. As you can probably tell, it's kind of getting dark and there's, I was fishing with this other kid on the bridge um, a few minutes ago. He just left, like a couple minutes ago. And I guess it was his first time saltwater fishing. And I thought I was gonna help him get his first fish, but he didn't end up catching any. I mean, they're just, yesterday night, or like last night, they were biting it like crazy. Tonight, they're still down there, they're still biting it, just not as much. And it's really hard to hook these little guys. They have such small mouths, but I'll take that guy. All right, well, this might not be very a very big fish, but it's still a pretty little fish. I'm just gonna plop him in the water there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lip him or not. Okay, well, I just dropped him, but I'll let him go there. All right, y'all, well, the camera just died, but I got another one. This one's even smaller, I think. And now it seems like the they're biting a little bit more right here before sundown. Anyway, another pretty little fish. You're playing with it. Got him, there we go. They are tricky, man, right before sundown, the bites just really picked up, but I've actually got to go. And man, that is a tiny little fish. I mean, this is the reason it's been hard to hook them. Like they've been biting the whole time I've been here. It's just, they haven't been biting very much, but now right before sundown, they're biting on like every little drop. All right, y'all, it's the next morning out here and I pretty much have the same game plan today. So I'm just gonna try to catch some fin pinfish at the beginning. Hopefully I'll be able to catch them a little faster than I was able to yesterday. And then I'm just gonna try to use those as live bait. So hopefully that'll work. Oh 
Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. These fish are so tiny. That one I actually had on for a second. All right, y'all, I've been using the fish bite for about 25 minutes now and I still haven't caught a pin fish. They're biting it like crazy. I think they're just tiny down there. So I'm gonna try these crappie nibbles, which are actually like for fresh water, but I think they should work still. Dude, those are some bass. I literally see some largemouth bass right here. Dude, that's crazy. There's some small bass right here. So this water is brackish. I think I have some small Kytec swim baits with me. I might just try to catch a bass because nothing else is working. Do I have a fish? I have a fish. It might be a little bass. Dang, there we go. I think it's a little bass. Come on, fish. Man, well, I guess I can't get away from bass fishing. I didn't even realize bass were in this part of the lake. I knew the lake was brackish water, but I'm so close to the ocean that I thought there wouldn't be any bass. I, I thought they were only on like the north end of the lake, but I mean, I saw a little school of bass in here, so I put on a Kytec swim bait and that did not take long at all. That was probably my third or fourth cast. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting to catch a bass today, but I'll definitely take that. I mean, those pinfish were just so hard to catch, and I don't know, they just kept biting like crazy, but they were too small to get that hook, and I literally had a size 8 hook, which is tiny. But uh, I think I'm going to try to do some more bass fishing, bass fishing for a little while, because that guy bit pretty fast. Alright y'all, well I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for the day. Um, I've only actually been out here for like an hour and a half, but nothing seems very promising. I did at least get that one little bass to avoid the skunk. But this is not the end of the video. I'm going to show some fishing from my dad a couple days ago on that same bridge catching some pinfish. So here that is. Got one finally. It's a pinfish, I think. I think it's a little pinfish. Yep, so this is, must have been what's biting my thing. Um, I had some little shrimp, and they kept just biting the shrimp off, so I moved to this little... Uh, I don't know what it's called, some fish bites. It's like shrimp flavor fish bites and I got a tiny little pinfish. This is kind of like the bluegill of the ocean. All right, well, it's been a while since I caught a fish from saltwater. I think I've probably caught some of these pinfish before. It's just been a while, but I'll let them go. Ooh, got something. <laughs> There we go. This one actually hit it pretty well. He hit it really hard as soon as it got down there. It's another uh, pinfish, I think. Yep. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. All right, well, this thing has such sharp fins and he's flopping around so much, I don't really want to get spined. So I think I'm just gonna try to get him off with the pliers. There he goes. There we go. Got him. Man, I... Ooh, what is this? Okay, no, it's just a pinfish. Thought it was something else. Man, these dudes are crazy. They will not just stay still. I've literally... I get a bite on every single drop down there. Um, they're just so small. I need I need smaller hooks if I come back tomorrow. All right, he's flopping around too much. I'm just going to take him off like that. Oh, got something. There we go. Is this something different or is it just another pinfish? I mean, they fight kind of hard, actually. For their size, they do kind of fight hard. It's probably the biggest one. It's either the biggest or the second biggest. There we go. Oop, got one. Oh my gosh, this is tiny. This would be the perfect bait size. Man, I might have to come here tomorrow to try to catch some of these guys. And like, this would just be a perfect bait size. Um, tomorrow, like, obviously it's getting dark, so I'm not gonna put this on a bigger rod tonight, but tomorrow I might have to do that. Use that as bait. See my bobber. Well, that first day here with my dad was a lot better than these, <laughs> the, the next two, so. I don't know why the pinfish were biting so well that one night. I think they just must be way more active right before dark than they are in the morning, but 
I hope you all enjoyed this kind of random video of catching a largemouth bass and a bunch of pinfish. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.